Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the centroid of various sections. So first to define the centroid. Centroid can be defined as it is the center at which the whole system remains in balance. For example, if I consider this in a beam and I want to provide the support here at this end. So you see here the more load, the more sulfate of the beam here acts on this side due to which the beam will try to bend here in this way but if I provide the support here at the midpoint which we call is the center point of the beam so the half self weight acts here on the left side of the support and the half load acts on the right side I mean the self weight of the beam so now the load is balanced and the beam will not deflect in any position but it will remain stable so we can say that this support now is its center. Similarly, the centroid of any object is the center at which the whole system will remain in the balance. It is that point at which the whole mass of a geometric object acts. Now I want to know the centroid of all these sections. So starting from the rectangle. So this rectangle and I want to draw its x-axis and suppose this x-axis and this is the y-axis of this rectangle. So and let's suppose this is the width of rectangle B and this is the height of this rectangle H. So centroid, the, what is the centroid of this rectangle? It is the center at which the whole system will remain in balance. So what should be this point? Of course, if you look into the shape of this point, of this object, it looks like that it will remain in the center. So I can say that from the left end, it will be in the center. And, for, and looking into the height of this rectangle, it would also be in the center with respect to the y-axis. So if we draw this line, extend this line, so it will look like this. So it means with respect to x-axis, the centroid of this rectangle will be b by 2. Dividing the b by 2, we will get the half of this rectangle which is the centroid with respect to x-axis. Now with respect to y-axis, the similarly the, dividing the height by 2, we can get the centroid, we can get the center point along the y-axis. So it will be h by 2. This is the centroid points for the rectangle. If someone asks, so we can easily find the centroid points by knowing the width dividing by 2. Similarly, dividing the height by 2, we can get the y-centroid. Now let's come to the triangle. How to find the centroid of the triangle? So again, making the x-axis here and the y-axis here. So now, the, in, case of the, in case of the triangle, it is different from this of the rectangle because the shape is different. So the centroid totally depends on the shape because with the shape, the whole system change its balance position. So now, the centroid with respect to x-axis of the rectangle will be if I divide this rectangle into three parts, one, two, and this is the third part. And with respect to x axis, its centroid lies in the one over third of x. If this is b, width of triangle, and if this is the height of triangle, so this will be the one over third of the x will be the centroid along the x axis. So I can write it here with respect to x axis, its centroid is one over third of b. If this whole is B and I divide into third part, so we will get the centroid with this along the x-axis. Now along the y-axis, similarly this is a y, this is the height of this triangle, so make divided into three parts. This is the first part, second part, and third part. So the first part will be the centroid. Similarly, the yc will be equal to the, the one over third of the height. So this point now is a triangle, is a triangle centroid. It means the whole, the whole system is in balance at this point, which is, which is one over third of the x-axis and one over third of the y-axis. Now come to the circle. So how to find the centroid of circle? It's very easy as compared to the other object because its shape is symmetrical. So if I draw the x-axis, x-axis of the circle, and these are the y-axis. y-axis of the circle. 
So is the circle is most represented by a radius r which is constant throughout its whole geometrical object. So this is r is the radius of this circle. So with respect to x axis, if we draw this r, it is also constant. So with respect to x axis, its centroid value will be simply r. Similarly, with respect to y axis, its centroid is again r. So with respect to y axis, it is also r. So in case of circle, the centroid is always remain its radius if we take the 0, 0 point here along the uh, origin. Now to discuss the centroid of the trapezoid. So let's suppose this is the x-axis of the trapezoid and this is the y-axis of the trapezoid. And this length, the biggest length of the trapezoid is presented by B and the smallest length is represented by A and these two lengths are parallel to each other in the case of the trapezoid. And let's suppose this is the height of the trapezoid, H. So, and this looks like the centroid of this trapezoid is here at this point. So, what are the coordinates of this trapezoid? So, the X, if I represent by CY along the Y axis, so it looks like a rectangle in the Y axis. So, it is H, so it is simply H by 2. The middle will be the, the H by 2 distance from the bottom, from this, from this point will be the H by 2 and it will be the centroid along the y-axis. But in case of the x-axis, it is quite different because one point starts from here while the other point starts from here. So due to which the centroid changes along the x-axis. So the centroid formula for the, along the x-axis will be b plus 2 dividing by 3 a plus b into h. So b plus 2 a. So B is this width, A is this width, which is less than the B, and 3 is a factor, and then multiplying with the, the A plus B. And again, multiplying this whole factor with the H, you get the centroid along the x-axis. It means the centroid from this point, Cx. So this is the Cx, and this is the Cy. And Cy is simply H by 2, while the Cx is different due to the different start of the lines. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily seven engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.